guys, I am going to um, do like the shortened recap of how we got to this point on the Argosy and how to paint your Argosy. So the first thing we did um, was actually sand. So you can see all the bigger parts around here. We just took the sander and sanded everything. It was really dusty. So definitely wear a big mask, goggles, ear things. So we did everything we could. The thing I will say about sanding is do not get the rivets because you don't want to flatten those buck rivets out. So that's why you can see that we sanded in spots that didn't have the rivets, left the rivets alone, and that's when this nasty job has come in. So I am using this clear citrus strip. Got a paper bowl, poured it into the paper bowl. I took my paintbrush, which I'll show you, took my paintbrush and painted it everywhere I wanted. A very thick coat. You do not want to do it thinly. You want to use a lot. Um, and what I will say, side note, this will eat plastic. So do if you have marker lights, anything like that, do not put it on those areas. Do not let it drip on that or it'll be in a pickle. So only get it on all of the metal. So once I pour it on there, paint it on there, the back of it I believe says you can let it sit for five minutes and then start to scrape. Normally I'll take a huge section, paint it on, and then about that five minutes is up. I'll take my plastic scraper and then I will scrape and I carry around a little metal bucket with me so I can scrape it off and all the yuckiness goes in there. Also, if you need on the other side, this one's a, obviously a metal blade, but on the other side, there's a little plastic blade so you can really get in those rivets if you need that. Last but not least, obviously this is aluminum, but the end caps are steel. The end caps have been the hardest part to get all the paint off. So what we did is we actually took this, globbed it on. This is like plastic wrap from Walmart. So we put plastic wrap on top of it and that is just to help it stay moist and wet. Moist is such a nasty word, but helps it stay um, wet and not dry out so that we could take it off and scrape all of that off in the morning. Obviously this paint stripper will burn you. You don't wanna get it on you. So if you think that you're a messier person, you might wanna wear gloves. Um, and I will say, I didn't read the back of like, if it has to be a certain temperature, but I do know that you don't wanna have this out in direct sunlight because what that will happen is it'll just dry. So if you paint this, if you paint it on and you're in sun, it'll just dry and then it's kind of useless. Um, so you want to be somewhere under shade, whether that's in a shop or under trees, somewhere like that. Now, we're right in the middle of summer here in Arkansas, and it's hot and humid, and you can probably see me sweating. I think that's worked in our advantage because it's keeping it wet, and the humidity is really helping it not to dry out, and it's just scraping off really, really easy. So that's just our experience with it. Like I said, I have a whole glob and I'm just literally pouring it on there. You do not want to be stingy with this product. The more the better. So like I said, we're in the middle of summer here in Arkansas. I'm not sure if it's, if you're somewhere and it's really cold, this might not be as easy. Um, you might need warmer temperatures. Um, or I'm not really sure. If you don't have warmer temperatures but you notice that you do need it, the trick of putting the plastic on top of it might help you just to kind of keep it warm and um, really help get that paint off. So if you notice me going on the seams and stuff too, obviously you're going to be getting all of that old sealant. And yes, when you're scraping it off, most of it will come off, but you want that old sealant off anyway so that you can seal it with new, so that's okay. I used my whole bowl. Once I use my whole bowl, that kind of tells me, oh, it's probably been five minutes. And so I will put it down, start to scrape, and I kind of remember like, oh, I started over here and I worked my way this way just so I kind of know which way I went. Scrape it all off. Once I'm done with the whole thing today, we're gonna pull it out and just give it a good bath to get all the extra residue off. Um, so. Is it okay if I help? Yeah, I 
So if you notice, this part has kind of dried. I obviously did not do it as thick right here because I didn't want to get in that little seam right there. So it already dried. That is why I said to, um, well, number one, apply it thick so it doesn't dry out. But number two, take smaller sections. So like you can see, this is starting to dry right here. I wouldn't recommend doing the entire Argosy and then coming to scrape it after unless you have two people and one person's painting and one person is scraping. So I'm about to paint up here again. Um, this has been sanded and also used this stuff a couple times. It's super hard in this area. So I'm just gonna quickly show y'all how we put the plastic wrap on it, just so you can get an idea. Again, I'm being aware of my lights. All right, so Jake the intern did this the last time and he kind of screwed me because I don't know what he's got going on. And if you all know, plastic wrap is so ridiculous. Because once it's stuck, it's kind of stuck. This didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Like usual, it's but, saran wrap. Basically, in prettier form. This is how you do it. So then I'll have to get more pieces, obviously, to cover all of this, but put it on top, pat it down, and it'll really help keep all of that moisture, I know everyone loves that word, all that moisture in there, keep it wet, and it'll be easier to scrape. What is going on guys? I'm Zach from Steady Streaming Casios. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't seen us before, we renovate Airstreams, Arxies, things of that nature. We really appreciate you guys uh, checking us out. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and uh, feel free to leave us a comment below. So, what I'm doing today is obviously painting the Argosy. A few of you said you wanted to watch this, so oh, this video is for you. Um, the Argosy is prepped. Um, it's sanded, stripped, taped off what I'm gonna tape off for now. Uh, the bottom will be black, but obviously I haven't painted the top yet, so if a little bit gets in there, it's fine. I'll go around with the cardboard, piece of cardboard, and follow myself along. Um, but while it's not getting painted, it's taped off. Um, I've done a little Bondo work up front. I don't know if you can see that, but it's up front. Uh, they had like two gashes, uh, so bondoed that. But other than that, everything's pretty straightforward. I mean, it is 40 something years old, 77. No, is it 77? 77. 77. Um, so I don't know how many years, can't add that up right now. But uh, so what we're going with is Benjamin Moore DTM acrylic. This is a gloss enamel. So this is the black, safety black is the color we're going with. So like I said, everything from the trim down will be black, there will be all white. So, uh, now it's just time to uh, go get the Graco uh, Pro X17 airless sprayer set up with my paint. And uh, it's just time to go guys, let's do it. So there she is with the first coat of black on the lower. Looks pretty good. Turned out really good. The paint really, really sprayed good. I had a few spots where it kind of got a little wet and runny. Um, but that's just the first coat. We'll come in wet sand and then apply the second coat. And there's a couple spots where I didn't quite get, but that's what the second coat's for.
Give some tips. If you are spraying, get close. Obviously not too close, but... Gotta find the right balance. Yeah, I'd say probably about here, so it's probably what, 12 inches. Don't get too far because I got too far at first couple coats and it made it a matte, like rough finish. That's a no-go. So we had to go back and back, but now we've got it to where we want it. So the paint, I think, was a, was a success. Yeah, four gallons of the Ultra Spec Benjamin Moore DTM Get Off Me Bug Acrylic. This is the gloss enamel. And we used three gallons of the Safety Black DTM Acrylic. Now it's time to dry and put the inserts in the trim. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. This was our first time to paint. I'm sure that there are other ways to do it out there. There's probably no right and wrong ways to do it. I have also seen other people not use a sprayer if you don't have one and they've used a roller and it looks like it worked as well. We just have a sprayer and it was super easy. It made it go by way faster because I will say the longest part was having to strip all of the paint off um, and make sure it was all clean. So I am assuming if you're going to roll it, it will take double the time that a sprayer would.